this is Mike with On Point Preparedness. So this is going to be my first video on the secondary channel and it looks like there's about 465 people that came over from my main channel and this is a good number because like I said I wanted this to be a small community so that I could be more engaging with your comments. On my other channel there's just way too many comments coming in and I really can't have a, a good track with, with following conversations. But um, this is excellent. The other thing that I want to do is I want to start doing live streams. And so I will more than likely primarily do them on this channel. I really enjoyed myself doing the live stream with KJ last night on his channel. Again, we were supposed to start at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but he had some technical difficulties and didn't get started till 930. Um, but you can still watch that video on his channel here. Um, we did go for two and a half hours, uh, so we could have gone for longer because we were having such a good time talking back and forth with one another. But um, excellent channel. I've been following him for years. Really enjoyed the opportunity to talk with him. Hopefully that's not the last. But I do like the the venue or forum of live streaming um, because, again, I can communicate with you all more dynamically. You guys can ask me questions. I can ask you questions. So one of the things about my channel is I am not a biblical scholar. I am not a theologian or symbologist or anything like that. In terms of how my videos are made, I just really rely on the discernment of the spirit and I also rely on feedback from the community because there's a whole host of videos that I've made um, based on some of my commenters' suggestions. So they've told me, hey, look at this or look at that. Um, and then they've given me some tips along the way and have just really enlightened me as well. So I think we can both help each other on this channel, um, and I'm really looking forward to it. But for this video, uh, it's going to be really quick and, again, really informal, but I just wanted to share a couple of things with you. Uh, the first one is it's just funny how these things are popping up. I don't know if you all have seen my videos from about three months ago, but I did this one, 70,000 Witness Ancient Demonic Apparition in the Sky. This is about the miracle of Fatima being a deception. The other one I did was a primarily Catholic-like miracle where they smell roses without an explainable cause, and they attribute that to Mary being in the room. In this video, I essentially debunk that and say why it's actually demons. Um, posing as angels of light. But again, I, I published both of those in December. Both of them were pretty well received with you know a lot of good views there. And then sure enough, look what shows up in the news three months later. So this is from the Daily Star. Hanging gardens of Babylon revealed as ISIS uh, basically find them in another one of their destructive accidents. Uh, so you can see here the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. So this is this is actually one of the miracles of the world that has not been definitively found until now, possibly. Um, so many people thought that this was a myth. Um, there's sporadic writings on exactly who created the gardens. Uh, in my video back here, I talk about how I think that these gardens were created by Nimrod for Semiramis. But it's just really funny how, you know, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon is an extremely ancient thing. And for Isis to just suddenly discover it, you know, three months after I do my video, I just find it an odd coincidence. Um, what I mainly attribute this stuff to is, you know, the old world is resurrecting itself again, right? So as in the days of Noah, so shall it be for the coming of the Son of Man. All of these olden, ancient um, historical monuments and collapse in terms of morals all around the world. It's all sort of resurfacing or rearing its ugly head. So I thought that was pretty funny. The other thing was, right, so I showed you two videos here. That was the rose one that just came up with the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, but then this Miracle of Fatima one, these were the three shepherds that saw this demonic apparition and were controlled by it and then guess what happened just this march pope francis will canonize two of the shepherds of fatima so i don't know how much more of a coincidence it could become you know i i'm not 
I'm not uh, getting too conspiratorial here, but I just think it's funny. Maybe uh, maybe I contribute this to be, me being on the leading edge of things uh, that I put out these videos before these these things actually happened here. I don't always get it right, but sometimes I do, and I just think it's sort of funny. Some other things here, again, just the, the old world resurfacing in the end times. Um, I found these two articles pretty crazy. So... There is a celebration in Athens where they're celebrating the phallus. And it's just creepy. Everyone in their masks dancing around these phallic symbols. Um, it really speaks for itself, right? I mean, this looks like that movie Eyes Wide Shut, like the Illuminati, the Freemasons, like all the creepy masked figures doing just insane dances and worship. This is a real thing. This is happening right now in Athens. And it's also happening all over the world as well. So here was another thing I saw on my feed. This is, uh, let's see, is this, I think it's Japan. Um, but they're riding a 1,300-pound phallus. <laughs> this, if you've ever seen I Pet Goat 2, um, Satanism or paganism really revolves around sex. Uh, there is a lot of prevalence with the male and female figures being worshipped. And you're just seeing it, again, rear its ugly head in full force all over the world more than ever. I mean, I just think this is, this is absolutely nuts. Other things in world news, and, and this is just where I'm going to stop the video. Because, um, again, these are just a whole bunch of sporadic things I just wanted to call out and show you guys just things that are filling my mind at the moment. But uh, I saw this tweet. This is from Sean Patrick Maloney, where they uh, tag Donald Trump and Speaker Ryan and said, we're not tired of winning yet, ready when you are ready to talk real solutions. And so <laughs> there they are, giving all thumbs up, mocking Donald Trump and uh, Speaker Ryan. This is like child's play, right? I mean, I'm not saying that uh, the Republicans are all in the right and the Democrats are in the wrong. It goes both ways. All of these lawyers on both sides, the people that are governing us, they're acting like children. And this is why there's there's not going to be any type of solution. And, and this is why the country is continuing to get more and more polarized. Not going to get any better. Politicians and the people are not really favoring moderate candidates anymore. Um, again, it's just that polarization of America. So those are some of the things going on in my head. Uh, I guess one last thing. So I am making a video. This is a sneak peek for all of you that subscribe to the secondary channel. So I am starting to edit the video about Pope Francis meeting the 27 European Union leaders huge, huge prophetic event here. Um, and again, I think I may get this out in the next, I don't know, say day or two. It depends on how much time I have with uh, or between my kids and work. But um, this is a big one. I mean, this is just absolutely nuts how all these business leaders have submitted to Pope Francis, and now we have the EU governmental heads submitting to him as well. So yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, super informal. Um, maybe have a routine of where I get one of these videos out. I don't know, once every three days or so. So stay tuned. Thanks for subscribing again. And uh, maybe we'll do a live stream next time. Talk to you guys later. This is Mike on Point Preparedness. See ya.